Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up this week, the Winston Fanner Griffiths Classic, honoring a Jamaican riding legend at Caymanus Park, serves up an upset result in a big margin win for the 30 to 1 shot. Essential quality. Champion trainer John O'Brien sweeps Trinidad and Tobago's Independence Cup at Santa Rosa Park. Stakes wins at Fort Erie for Barbadian jockeys. Christopher Husbands, the leading rider, and Jason Hoyt. And there's a new champion jockey at Century Mile Racetrack in Edmonton, Canada. He is Jamaican Dane Nelson. Plus the weekly stats on Caribbean success on the North American continent. Our opening story from Jamaica. Where the Winston Fanner Griffiths Classic was the main event at Caymanus Park. In tribute to the five-time champion jockey, a guard of honor for the retired 64-year-old icon who is in the Guinness Book of World Records for the most classic wins at 44 among his Caricom Best 1,664 wins. Winston Griffiths OD rode a record five Triple Crown winners and is now a racehorse trainer. Jamaica's Netball World Cup bronze medal winners, also special guests at Caymanus Park Saturday. Nine starters for the nine and a half furlong run with the top contenders Princess Sharon, the three horse, a good third in the St. Leisure at seven to two. Number four coming off two straight wins, Burlap at three to one. In the five box, Money Miser, the four to five favorite, following second place finishes in three of the classics the Guinness, the St. Leisure, and the Derby. And the seven horse, the Oaks runner up, Power from Above, the five to two second favorite. Kevin Burnside has the race called, picking them up, approaching the home turn. The front-running outsider essential quality with a commanding and comfortable lead, while the fancied entries struggle to keep pace. Money Miser will have to do more running. Also coming on, that's Rich Rich, power from above. And then comes Life is Life, and still left at the back, California Gold. But it is, is essential quality, really traveling nicely, about four lengths, five, six maybe more in front of Princess Sharon racing in second. Also coming on, that's power from above. Money Miser begins to get rolling, but might be too late. It is essential quality in the Winston Fanner Griffiths OD Classic in front. Essential quality taking them pillar to post. Essential quality is in front and will win easily in the end uh, by about six lengths. Second. For the second week in a row, Radish Roman rides the feature race winner. Last weekend, runaway Algo was favourite in the She's a Man Eater trophy. This time, a massive upset aboard Essential Quality. The 25-year-old Roman on a roll. He has won on every card for the last five race days in a row. The three-year-old Phillies' third win from eight starts this year. Essential Quality owned and trained by Oral Hayden at 30-1. to Impressively lands the Winston Griffiths Classic. Princess Sharon at 7-2, a distant second by nine lengths. Two minutes, three seconds, the winning time for nine and a half furlongs. Trinidad and Tobago celebrated its 61st anniversary of independence last Thursday and champion trainer John O'Brien marked it royally with his Philly Princess Aruna leading a 1-2-3 finish for him in the Independence Cup on turf at Santa Rosa Park. O'Brien's 2022 Derby winner Soka Harmony and Crown Prince who combined to sweep the Triple Crown Series last year both well backed at 2-1 to one, but the betters knew why they made Princess Aruna their stablemate the even money favourite she was fifth here in the ninth furlong run as John Rupert in the combox tracks her rapid gain on the leaders Princess Aruna the favourite needs to go now and then comes making headlines they come out from the far turn and Crown Prince continues to head them. Soka Harmony dives towards the inside and looks to be a dangerous opponent coming on. Then finishing touch on the outside. Down the stretch they come. Crown Prince is holding on. Soka Harmony is trying to get through the rail. Princess Aruna is now starting to erupt on the far side. Crown Prince here, but here is Princess Aruna. Princess Aruna magnificently handled by Tristan Phillips to win. What a ride by apprentice Tristan Phillips. The race perfectly measured by the leading rider. Mitra Samlal's Princess Aruna, fourth in the derby last year, gets her biggest career win and is undefeated in five starts now on turf. Princess Aruna, at even money, wins the Independence Cup by a length and three quarters over her stablemates, Crown Prince and Soka Harmony for the sweep by O'Brien, winning his third straight Independence Cup after Apocalypse and Stroke of Luck. The winning time, 152.82 for nine furlongs on the Santa Rosa turf. Let's head up north now to Canada, where the Barbadian jockeys Christopher Chin's husbands and Jason Jet Lee Hoyt uncorked stakes wins on Monday afternoon at Fort Erie in Ontario. Aboard the 1-5 to five favorite Nicolau in the 35,600 Puss in Boots Cup stakes, champion jockey husbands was confident here in third, stalking the leaders into the home stretch. 
three quarters in 111 and two, and it's Wilberforce looking to go gate to wire. Nikolaus swings to the outside to make a bid, running up to half lit at the head of the lane. It is Wilberforce. He's opened up three lengths. Nikolaus trying to rally down the outside. He has his turn of foot unleashing now. It's Wilberforce and Nikolaus duking it out in the puss and boots. Nikolaus ranges up to Wilberforce and takes control. It is Nikolaus clearly superior in the puss and boots. Nikolaus by two and a half. Wilberforce resilient second. Husbands, a two-time Assiniboia Downs champion and perfectly on course for a third straight title at Fort Erie. TNT fans may also remember Husbands as a 16-year-old winning the 2006 Trinidad Derby aboard Sarah's Music. He was patient behind the front running Wilberforce and says the five-year-old gelding gave him a lot when he was asked. Like I had a lot of hearts and I was just waiting for him. Like I was, There was a tree horse there and I was kind of playing it by ear to see maybe he had day off and I can just pass by but it didn't work out that way. When I was coming in on the last turn, he picked up the bit like, come on, let's go. So I said, okay, let's roll. So I came around them and he just finished. Undefeated at Fort Erie, 3-0 at the track now. Nicolau wins the Puss in Boots Stakes by two and three quarter lengths as a one to five favorite, clocking one minute 44.31 for the eight and a half furlong run on turf for trainer Kevin Boutigig. Hoyt got his win in a photo finish to the Horse People's Luminary Cup Stakes aboard the 7-5 favourite Sheba Town, who is fifth here on the rail and closing. 45 and 3 to the half and at the top of the stretch can't beat the cats takes a short lead from Gimbala getting ahead tries to re-rally Sheba Town has momentum up the inside it is can't beat the cats now getting away from Gimbala who's wandering off the inside giving room to Sheba Town can't beat the cats looking for the wire Sheba Town surging up the inside Gimbala resilient Gimbala comes back on Sheba Town right there photo finish finding room on the inside past the eighth pole Hoyt brilliantly roused the four-year-old filly to snatch the win citing an adjustment he made to go for the rail run and it worked perfectly. I want to get it to the outside but I say you know what I get stuck down there so I just stay right there and buy my time and she ran through the horses like nothing. That's a real Bajan answer boy. The 75 favorite Sheba Town by a nose over the 72 bet Gimbala. The winning time for the six and a half furlong horse people's luminary won 18.86 on a Fort Erie afternoon that saw the 60 year old Trini Emil Ramsamy and Barbadian Kevin Nichols also winning. We knew it would happen at some point, and it has. Dane, the warrior chief Nelson, a four time champion jockey in Jamaica, now a champion rider in Canada at Centrum Mile, where he had two previous runner up finishes. On Friday's final day of the racing season, here is Nelson aboard his last win on the campaign, aboard the favorite Beautiful Mess in the allowance optional claiming second race. The three-year-old filly winning by 10 lengths, the 39-year-old Nelson closing out a dominant season at Centre Mile and emerging champion jockey after taking second place finishes at the Edmonton Racetrack in 2019 and 2022. Nelson would move south in Alberta later that weekend for two stakes wins at Lethbridge. With his 40-win season, Nelson finished four in front of Jose Asensio for his first jockey's title in Canada. Barbadian Enrico Prescott, a nominee for Canada's Outstanding Apprentice Sovereign Award in 2022, placed fifth with 30 wins. Top finishes as well for two other Barbadians, Desmond Brown and Deshaun Gaskin at ninth and tenth. Our usual weekly tally of wins for Caribbean men in the USA and Canada before we go. Since our last show, I've counted six to two wins. Among them, five victories at Emerald Downs for the Barbadian jockey Rocco Boyen, including a Saturday triple. Boyen also had three wins this week at Thistledown. The Barbadian trainer Sapi Joseph Jr. had three weekend wins at Gulfstream Park. Jermaine Bridgemahan, the Jamaican jockey, with four weekend wins at Canterbury Park. And there was an Assiniboia Downs star week for Antonio Whitehall, the Barbadian leading rider there. Five wins for him this week, including a four-timer on Wednesday. And the Jamaican Laris Allen, he had four wins at Lethbridge, including a stakes tramp. We've been at the track, covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.